its 16th September 2021, 4 p.m. in the evening, and TVS Motors decided to pull the wraps off the newly launched Raider 125. It's one of the best motorcycles in this segment right now, with plenty of style, features, and engaging dynamics. Is there a more mind-numbing word in the world of motorcycling than a commuter? Well, TVS wants to change that. Well, its latest 125cc says it can meet budget sensibilities with being fun and desirable. Let's meet the Radar 125. The first thing you would think that it's probably a 150cc or a 160cc machine. The bike has a sense of presence you don't expect from mostly a sensible 125cc motorcycle. And the design is unique quite likable. Its sharp looking LED headlamp with a striking set of daytime running lamps is definitely easier on the eye than a quirky headlamp from the bigger RTR. Then there is a large sculpted fuel tank that looks like it came for a bigger motorcycle. The good news keep coming when you see it on the motorcycle too. There is no boring commuter riding position over here and TVS has injected a dash of sportiness into the foot pack position along with a mild lean forward to the handlebar. Well, it's an awesome news for 125cc customers. They have an awesome product to look out for. The most premium bit of this motorcycle is the all new negative LCD display that shows plenty of information including a gear position indicator, two trips, fuel economy, range and lots more. This bike even has a side stand down engine kill feature which is rare at this price point. And that's not all because TVS will also offer a top model with Bluetooth connectivity and a TFT display but that bike will launch a few months later. Effectively, this motorcycle is easily one of the most feature packed motorcycle in this segment but there are a few rough edges in this motorcycle as well such as the plastic or the switch gear that could have been done better. Talking about the engine and performance, this motorcycle is 125cc and that produces a power of around 11.38 bhp at 7500 rpm and 11.2 Nm of max torque at 6000 rpm. We are told that the internal components are new and as a result this engine makes 2 horsepower more than the standard N torque. Another segment first is the rider gets the two riding modes, the eco and the power. Well that's the first in any kind of 125cc category motorcycle. These riding modes doesn't change the power output of the motorcycle but eco mode brings the rev limiter in at 8000 rpm in the first 4 gears and at 7000 rpm in the 5th gear which will restrict the top speed a little bit. Eco also offers slightly more gentler response and TVS says that it will also improve the fuel efficiency of the motorcycle by 3%. The power mode meanwhile will give the perfect and the powerful response but deactivates the start stop system. Prices start at Rs 77,500 X showroom Delhi for the drum brake model which is excellent value that puts the radar right on par with the relatively youthful and sporty 125S like the Bajaj Pulsar 125 and the Honda SP125 not to mention making it full 20,000 cheaper than the Pulsar NS125 well that's value for money isn't it however TVS will charge you 8,000 more for the disc variant well guys let me know how did you all like the short review of the newly launched Raider 125. The full detailed review is coming our way on Automania. So stay tuned to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe to Automania for exciting new automotive content. As I always say wear helmets while riding, wear your seatbelts while driving and never drink and drive. This is Prashun Manaji. You are watching Automania signing off. Ta-da!